The Premier says effective Saturday at 12.01 that Toronto, Peel and Ottawa are being sent back to a modified version of these Stage 2 restrictions. That means indoor dining, gyms, casinos, cinemas and performance venues are going to be shut down for at least 28 days until the province can reassess. The modified version of Stage 2 has two key exemptions. Schools will not, I repeat, not be closed. Places of worship will not be closed. Premier Ford said that the decision to reimpose old restrictions on Toronto, Peel and Ottawa is data-driven. As we post record testing numbers, the percentage of people testing positive is rising too quickly, with some communities showing as high as a 10% positivity. We're seeing the number of contacts for confirmed cases as high as 100 people. The curve is not just growing, it's growing exponentially. Health Minister Christine Elliott says the decision was made with a long-term goal in mind. If we don't take this action now, the situation could overtake us and then we would have to oppose a complete lockdown uh, over a much longer period of time. Hamilton is reporting 28 new cases today, continuing a steady rise in infections. CHCH News asked Dr. David Williams what the likelihood is that Hamilton will get sent back to stage two. They have had some slowly rising rates. Theirs has not been as extensive as Toronto, Peel and Ottawa. But we said if it does wing up and head up that way, uh, we've given them notice that we would we may have to put them in the same restrictions. Here's what he had to say about Hamiltonians or others traveling to newly restricted areas. I, I don't think we've uh, entertained travel bans in Ontario. Uh, at this time, we've asked people to limit their travel uh, for essential things. So for now, gyms and indoor dining remain open in Hamilton, even as the outbreak at Spinco, a cycling class facility, explodes. Cases today have nearly doubled as reported by Hamilton Public Health. The fitness center now has a total of 21 cases, 20 customers and one staff member. Premier Ford also announced that the province will make $300 million available to businesses affected by the new restrictions. For 28 days, Ontario will waive provincial and municipal property tax, hydro and natural gas bills. Ford says that that money will be made as available as soon as possible. Back to you.